let's continue our discussion sa chapter 2, the basic laws of electric circuits. So, unang discuss for this chapter, chapter 2 is the Ohm's law. And then, I discuss ko about nodes, branches, and loops. And now, I will be discussing about Kirchhoff's laws. So, these laws are introduced by uh, Gustav Robert Kirchhoff in 1847. So, kitawag siya Kirchhoff's law since ang apelido sa nag-introduce is Kirchhoff. So, na ayaw ka klase ng laws. These are Kirchhoff's current law or KCL and Kirchhoff's voltage law or KVL. Kirchhoff's first law is based on the law of conservation of charge which requires that the algebraic sum of charges within a system cannot change. So, based lang ni atong, uh, agi-discuss po na ko previously, ng law of conservation of charge. Kirchhoff's current law, or KCL, states that the algebraic sum of currents entering a node or a closed boundary is zero. So, we discuss naman ako sa ang node. It is a point of connection of elements. Okay, like for an example, in the figure four, figure 2.16, currents at a node, illustrating KCL or currents, Kirchhoff's current law. So, ma-apply ang Kirchhoff's current law because it states na ang total daw or algebraic sum ng currents Entering a node is zero. So, ang um, sa figure 2.16, I1 pasulod, I2 pagawas, uh, away, away from the node, I3 towards the node, I4 towards the node, I5 towards the node. So, therefore, ang equation ng total current is I1 plus I3 plus I4 is equal to I2 plus I5. So, ang total, and, ang total sa nagsulod sa node is equal to total sa, nag, baga, sa nigawas sa node. So, that is KCL. The sum of the currents entering a node is equal to the sum of the currents leaving the node. Okay, muna kong yan ganina. So, figure 2.17 Applying KCL to a closed boundary. A simple, a simple application of KCL is combining current sources in parallel. The combined current is the algebraic sum of the current supplied by individual sources. The combined or equivalent current source can be the combined or equivalent current source can be found by applying KCL to a node. So, let's look at figure 2.18, current sources in parallel. Okay. Sa letter A, sa figure 2.18A, original circuit. So, ang given original circuit sa A uh, na ay pataas, na ay paubos, na ay pataas. So, and then, ang total current niya is towards point A. So, pwede na siya i-combine ng tulong ka-current source. So, sa letter B, makita na ito ang equivalent circuit or equivalent or ang total current source. So, which is I, S. So, current source is equal to I1. Okay, pataas. So, same siya o uh, direction sa total current. Minus I sub 2, so paubos ang I sub 2, plus I sub 3, so third current. So, total na siya, muna ang makuha mga uh, total source of current. Okay, so, dali po sa um, equation, I total is equal to I1 minus I2 plus I3. So, i-combine ang sources. Kirchhoff's second law is based on the principle, principle of conservation of energy. Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL, states that the algebraic sum of all voltages around a closed loop or loop is zero. So, kung talaga na itong figure 2.19, a single loop circuit illustrating KVL. Sa circuit, 
So, given nga circuit dre as a 2.19, na ay duha ka voltage source. V1 and uh, V4. Voltage 1 and voltage 4. And then, kanang V sub 2, voltage 2, voltage 3 is uh, load. Voltage 5, wala well, i-define. So, makita na ito dire. Na ang total voltage, according to Kirchhoff's voltage law, ang total voltage daw, or ang algebraic sum of all voltages around a closed loop, is 0. So, kung itotal na ito na V1 minus uh, V2, so, Kung subayon na ito ang arrow ha, kung nag-start siya sa V1, sulod siya sa negative, nigaw siya sa positive. So, atong, uh, atong gamiton ang polarity sa, sa, pagawa sa, sa pagawa sa current. So, positive V1 minus V2 minus V3 plus V sub 4 minus V sub 5. So, equal to 0. So, kung itotal na siya, that is equal to 0. So, wala may given ng mga value diha. Ah. So, kung itotal na siya, so, ang idea lang ng K KVL, ang total voltage in a closed loop is equal to 0. So, it states here, KVL can be applied in two ways. By taking either a clockwise or a counterclockwise strip around the loop. Either way, the algebraic sum of voltages around the loop is zero. So, kung isang pagbalibaliho ni mo ng paglooping, mag-start ka dali as sa negative or mag-start ka dali sa positive sa voltage, voltage source, like sa sample sa V1, equal to zero lang gihapon ng iyahang total. Bisan pagbalibaliho ni mo na siya. Let's proceed. The sign on each voltage is the polarity of the terminal encountered first as we travel around the loop. Okay, so, there is a example na yan. There is, ang, ang iyang consider is ang, ang polarity kung asa ni sulod ang, kung asa una ni sulod ang current. Okay, negative V1 plus V2 plus V3 minus V sub 4 plus V sub 5 is equal to 0. Rearranging terms, so, mag-uban ta ng positive, then sa E, arrange sa pikas tanon ang negative. So, V sub 2 plus V sub 3 plus V sub 5 is just equal to V sub 1 plus V sub 4. Kung makita na sa figure 2.19, ang ganing V sub 1 or voltage 1 plus voltage 4 is just the voltages of the voltage sources. And, and ganing V sub 2, voltage 2, voltage 3, and voltage 5 is the voltage sa load sa resistor o kaning isa ka load nga nakarectangle which may be interpreted as sum of voltages volt, sum of voltage drops is equal to sum of voltage rises okay another uh, figure 2.20 voltage source in series so same same pa po sa current source, pwede na gaya po ni-combine ang mga nakaparalal na current sources. And then, ang nakasiris po ng mga voltage source, pwede na po na siya i-combine. So, um, for, for letter A, figure 2.20A, makita na ito, dali, ah, na itulok a voltage source na nakasiris. V sub 1, V sub 2, V sub 3. Kung itotal na siya, muna siya ang voltage between a and B. So, to get the voltage total or V sub AB or VS, voltage source, kung i-combine na siya, that is equal to V1 plus V2 minus voltage 3. Kaya nakabaliktad man ang iyahang polarity. So, na, na minus siya dito as sa doka voltages. So, ang letter B mo na equivalent circuit. Okay, let's go to example 2.5. For the circuit in figure 2.21A, find voltages V sub 1 and V sub 2. Okay, the given circuit, there is a figure 2.21. 
for the example 2.5 is just a simple circuit na I voltage source ng 20 volts and then I do a load ng 2 ohms and 3 ohms so ang question diri ah uh, find voltage V1 and V2 okay solution okay for the solution of course isara man ni siya ka loop sa given nga circuit isara ka loop na ito lo ka uh, element na ito lo ka branch na ito ka node but isa lang siya ka loop okay so since isara siya ka loop simple circuit naman siya meaning naalay isa ka value of current nga naga flow diri a sa elements that is current i okay to find v1 so voltage is just equal to current times resistance so v sub 1 is equal to 2i and v sub 2 is just equal to negative 3i and gamito na to ang uh, kcl i mean kvl total voltage ang state dito sa kvl ang total voltage in a loop is equal to 0 so atong i total ang voltage so negative 20 plus V sub 1 minus so minus siya since uh, nakabaliktad ang polarity sa 3 ohms minus V sub 2 is just equal to 0 so negative 20 plus 2i plus 3i is equal to 0 so 5i is equal to 20 so, kanin negative 20, gitanspose na dito sa pika side para may positive. So, 5i, 5i, di ka na siya sa 2i plus 3i. So, 5i is equal to 20. Therefore, ang current nga nag flow sa ilaha is equal to 4 ampere. That is 20 divided by 5. So, that is 4 ampere. I substitute na to ning 4 ampere dito as a uh, formula na tong gi, gi form sa V1 and sa V2. So V1 is just equal to 8 volts since V1 is equal to 2i. 2 times 4 ampere that is 8 volts. And V sub 2 is equal to negative 3 times 4 ampere so that is negative 12 volts. Another example. Ano, uh, practice problem. So, you may practice solving this and show your solution. Submit it to the site. So, practice na may given nga answer. 12 volts and negative 6 volts. So, another example. Example 2.6. Determine V sub O and current I in the circuit shown in figure 2.23. So, sa figure 2.23 na ay uh, pilamanik element. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements. But, so, 5 elements, 5 branches. But, there is only one loop. Okay, nalang isa ka loop. Therefore, sa kaninga current, uh, sa kaninga circuit, Isa lang gihapon ka value of current ang nag-flow nag -flow sa mga elements. And that is current I. Ang mao na ang isa sa gipangita. And then, ang, another ng gipangita is V sub O. That is the voltage found in 6 ohms. And then, ay isa ka dependent uh, voltage controlled voltage source. So, ang tawag ang nga dependent source, voltage-controlled voltage source. Voltage-controlled siya, kaya nagdepende man siya sa value ng V sub O. Kung pila ang value ng V sub O, i-times 2 ni mo na siya, mo na siya ang value ang nga dependent source. Okay, let's go for the solution. We apply KVL around the loop as shown in figure 2.23b. Okay, so KVL na po ng gamiton. Saka itong KVL, the algebraic sum in a loop is equal to 
the algebraic sum of the voltages in a loop is equal to zero. Okay, so mag start ta sa 12 volts. So negative 12 plus 4i plus 2vo minus 4 plus 6i is equal to zero. Applying Ohm's law to the 6 ohm resistor, so ang V sub O is the voltage in the 6 ohm resistor. So, once again, ang formula sa voltage is equal to current times resistance. So, V sub O is equal to negative 6i. So, negative siya since current is entering along the negative, in the negative polarity. So, I substitute na to ng value ng V sub O that is equal to negative 6i dito as sa first equation nga na derived that is negative 12 plus 4i plus 2VO, 2VO minus 4 plus 6i equal to 0. So, I substitute na to ang value ng V sub O which, which is negative 6i. So, 2 times negative 6i that is negative 12i. So, therefore, Ma simplified na ang first equation that is negative 16. Negative 16 because negative, na ay negative 12 plus negative 4. So, that is negative 16 plus 4i and then kanang 2 times VO that is negative 12 negative 12 i. So, I know, ang negative 16 plus 10i, that is 4i plus 6i. So, 10i minus 12i. Kaling 12i, gika na siya sa 2VO. 2 times negative 6i. So, 12i. Negative 12i equal to 0. So, um, to finalize this formula, so, may mo siyang uh, 10i minus 12i, that is equal to negative 2i equal to kung ito nang ibalhin ang 16 transpose it to the other side of the equation so 2i negative 2i is just equal to 16 so kamo na resolve ani ha para maka-analyze pud mo na yung mga solution in between ani negative 2i is uh, negative 2i equal to negative uh, negative 2i equal to 16 so, 16 divided by 2, divide both sides by 2. So, ang makuha na itong current is negative 8 ampere. So, nakuha na ang current. And sa tagi question ngayon na, pangitaon ang current and pangitaon ang V sub O. So, nakuha na ang current which is negative 8 ampere. So, ang pangitaon na lang V sub O. So, substitute the value of current dito as sa equation sa V sub O, which is negative 6i. So, negative 6 times negative 8, so that is 48 volts. So, ang V sub O is equal to 48 volts. So, ang answer sa, pa, sa example 2.6, current is equal to negative 8 ampere and V sub O is equal to 48 volts. Okay, another practice problem for you to solve. Example 2.7. Find current I sub O and voltage V sub O in the circuit shown in figure 2.25. So, duha gyapon ang ipangita. Current I sub O and voltage V sub O. Meaning, ang uh, voltage... So, there is a figure 2.25, ang voltage sa 4 ohms, excuse me, ang voltage sa 4 ohms ang ipangita o ang current nga nag sa 4 ohms ang ipangita. So, ang given nga sources, there is a circuit na ay current source which is 3 ampere. And then, na ay independent, uh, tawag ane, current controlled current source. Okay, current controlled current source since nagdepende ang iyang value sa value ng current na nag sa 4 ohms okay let's go to the solution applying KCL to node A asa man ang node A ane? so 
if we look at figure 2.25 na ay A dali sa taas so muna ang gitawag nga node A okay since kare since ang um, gihatag sa circuit is na yung mga current source pwede na to magamit ang KCL Nung sagay itong KCL, the algebraic sum of the currents entering a node is equal to zero. Or, pwede po, ang total current entering a node is equal to the current um, is equal to the current na mugawas sa node. So, muna siya. Okay, so, let's uh, calculate sa current gamit ang KCL. So, 3 drita, balik to drita. Ang 3 ampere is entering the node A. So, 3 plus kaning current controlled current source 0.5 I sub O. So, 3 ampere plus 0.5 I sub O is equal to equal to I sub O. So, money ang equation nga, unang equation nga nakuha. Therefore, to calculate, I sub O is equal to, I sub O is just equal to 6 ampere. Okay, nakuha na ang I sub O. So, simple na kayo ang, ang, simple na kayo ang solution. Pag masabtan lang ninyo ang idea ng Kirchhoff's, Kirchhoff's Law, dalit na dyan kayo ang pag-analyze sa circuit. For the 4 ohm resistor, ohm's law gives, okay, for the voltage, voltage just equal to current times resistance. So, nanam ang current, which is 6 ampere, and then ang resistance, 4 ohms. Therefore, V sub O is, equal, is just equal to 4 I sub O, which is, ang voltage V sub O is, is just equal to 24 volts. So, substitute lang ang value ng 6 ampere. Dari asa I sub O. So, 4 times 6, 24. So, mato siya. Nakuha na ang duha kagipangita. I sub O and V sub O. I sub O, 6 ampere. V sub O, 24 volts. Another practice problem for you to analyze. Okay, hopefully, inyo ning isolve nga kamo gyud ang mag-solve no analyze it para makasabot mo Example 2.8 Find the currents and voltages in the circuit shown in figure 2.27 So currents and voltages so na ay tulo ka current I sub 1 I sub 2 and I sub 3 entering and exiting node A and then, so voltages na V sub 1, V sub 2, and V sub 3. Okay. Solution. Ang V sub 1 is just equal to 8 I sub 1. V sub 2 is just equal to 3 I sub 2. V sub 3 is just equal to 6 I sub 3. Okay. In the node A, ang, nasul ang nisulod sa node is I sub 1. Ang nigawas sa node, I sub 2 and I sub 3. Therefore, I sub 1 is just, uh, I sub 1 minus I sub 2 minus I sub 3 equal to 0. So, okay. Ang total currents in the node is equal to 0. Manang equal to 0 siya. Pag total. So, ang pag Pagpagawas ang current, negative na siya. Pagpasulod ang current sa node, positive na siya. So, muna nga ang na-establish, I sub 1 minus I sub 2 minus I sub 3 equal to 0. Okay, so... And then... Total... Sa loop na punta, sa loop gamit ang KVL total voltages in a loop 
So, naidwa ka loop, loop 1 and loop 2. Ang total voltages ng loop 1, of course, is 0. So, but unsa man tong equal to 0? So, start as a negative 30. Negative 30 volts plus V sub 1 plus V sub 2 is uh, equal to 0. And then sa... Okay, and then i-substitute ang value ng V sub 1 V sub 2. Unsa man yung V sub 1. So, kaya na sa taas, V sub 1 is equal to 8 I sub 1. So, manang nasa dali asa, ikatulong equation. Plus, ang V sub 2, 3 I sub 2. So, ang equation na nakuha, negative 30 plus 8 I sub 1 plus 3 I sub 2 equal to 0. Okay. And then, transpose, transposing. So, makuha ang I1 is equal to 30, quantity of 30 minus 3 I sub 2 divided by 8. So, muna siya ang unang equation sa I sub 1. And then, let's go to loop 2. No, kaling sa left side. Left side, ah, right side rather. Kaya nasa right side, ubos sa figure B ng equation. Muna siya ang total voltages gamit ang KVL dre as sa figure B. So, negative, negative V sub 2 plus V sub 3 equal to 0. So, kay lagi ang KVL, ang total voltages in a loop is equal to 0. Mo ng V sub 2, ang negative V sub 2 plus V sub 3 equal to 0. I-transpose ng isa, kaya negative sa pika side. So, muna ng arrow, indicating that V sub 3 is just equal to V sub 2. We discussed na ko na previously that an element which is nakaparallel, parehas na sila ang voltage. So, even without uh, writing the formula or the equation, Pwede rin mo idritsog assume na V sub 2 is just equal to V sub 3 since nakaparallel sila. Okay. So, since nakaparallel sila, so let's proceed. Ang V sub 3 is equal to 6I sub 3. Ang V sub 2, 3I sub 2. So, okay. Substitute ang mga value 6, I sub 3 equal to 3, I sub 2. Therefore, ang I sub 3 is just equal to I sub 2 over 2. Okay, even though parihas sila o voltage ni V sub 2 is equal to V sub 3, it doesn't mean nga parihas sila o current. Kaya nga naman. Pareha sila og voltages but lahi sila og value sa resistance. Ang naa sa ikaduha nga element uh, sa V sub 2 is 3 ohms. Ang naa sa V sub 3 6 ohms. Okay. So I sub 3. Using that using this no Ang una na kuha na nga ay, a current is I sub 1, which is I sub 1 is equal to a quantity of 30 minus 3 I sub 2 divided by 8. And then, ang kanuha nga current nga nakuha, I sub 3 is equal to I sub 2 over 2. So, kanang mga currents, formula of currents, ato na i-substitute dito sa pinakauna nga equation nga nakuha, which is, Kaning I sub 1 minus I sub 2 minus I sub 3 equal to 0. So, kaning I sub 1 is substitute na to ang value ng kaning 30 minus 3 I sub 2 quantity over 8. And then, I sub 2 minus, minus I sub 3 which is I sub 2 over 2. So, maa ni siya ang nakuha dali ah. Kani siya nga equation, gika ni siya dali. Pinakauna nga equation. No? I-substitute lang ang mga value na nakuha. So, kung tanaw na ito ang equation, isa na lang ang unknown. Ang unknown na lang isang I sub 2, dali A. So, calculating, manipulating the equation, 
makuha nga ang i sub 2 okay wala ni ko na calculate dere okay so ang i sub 3 i sub 1 start sa i sub 1 is just equal to 3 ampere i sub 3 equal to 1 ampere v sub 1 24 ampere v sub 2 6 ohms or oh, 6 volts a V sub 1 equals to 24 volts. V sub 2 is equal to 6 volts. V sub 3 equal to 6 volts. So, pila ang I sub 2. Okay. Makuha na ang I sub 2 is just equal to I sub 1 minus... Ano na? May I sub 3. So, I sub... 3 is equal to I sub 2 over 2. So, 1 ampere divided by 2, that is 0. 0.5 ampere. So, that is I sub 2. Okay. Try also solving this. No, basag isolve na na ako ni siya. Na, no, makita naman ninyo. Try practicing solving this examples. Para masabta ninyo ang pamaagi sa pag-solve ani. Okay, kanina yung mga equation, ay circuit rather, kanina yung mga circuit na given sa example is just a simple circuit. Dili pa ni siya mao. Dili pa ni siya mao ang lisod. So, I hope you practice uh, solving circuits, analyzing. You practice problem. Here we go again. So, practice solving this. And that's it for the Kirchhoff's Laws. I hope na nakasabot mo. Uh, but for you to better understand the uh, Kirchhoff's Laws, you may also read the PDF, the book by Sadiko for more details. And there are also a lot of circuits given at the end of the chapter. You may also solve those um, circuits. That's all. To be continued.